basically I, I found this is super effective when I was uh, basically in Taiwan uh, most people in Taiwan actually take a nap uh, either it's like in a, a school or uh, in the workplace um, usually we have one hour to, to kind of take a nap and sometimes you can have up to maybe two or two, two and a half hours so you can eat lunch maybe for one hour and you can take your nap uh, lunch nap for probably around an hour as well and I find it's very useful so uh, when I was in Taiwan I I never really uh, drank coffee uh, kind of uh, for for kind of waking keeping myself awake I only like drink coffee for kind of a leash kind of taste because I want to drink it um, yeah and uh, roughly around the time when I moved to Singapore uh, and uh, I just realized no one actually took nap there and uh, it was quite a surprise to me everyone just have one hour uh, lunch time and after lunch time it just uh, go back to work and uh, I realized that uh, uh, because of that I always couldn't really you know get used to it uh, every time after lunch time I feel really sleepy uh, so uh, I kind of uh, got my habit of drinking coffee in Singapore uh, I always had a, had a coffee, a cup of coffee after lunch, so I can keep myself awake and uh, work. And uh, just because I'm drinking the, the coffee, I think I kind of a, a little bit addicted to to coffee. And uh, I started to also drink another cup of coffee in the morning. So in total, I drank two cups of coffee in Singapore. And definitely now I I I, I came to. Uh, Canada and uh, people here also don't take nap so I just continue my my, my, my habit uh, drinking two cups of coffee a day in the morning to keep myself awake and uh, in the um, in the afternoon also to 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 keep myself awake because I don't take nap so even now uh, it's kind of a work, working from home situation. I basically have been working from home for around four months. And uh, I still, I don't take nap uh, in the weekdays. Uh, and uh, I just got myself coffee powder and uh, I continue drinking two cups of coffee a day. So even like after uh, I finish my lunch at my home, I just made myself a cup of coffee and uh, kind of uh, keep myself awake and uh, I think I reali realized like I at first I kind of was trying to use coffee to uh, keep myself awake and after that I feel oh yeah actually coffee is super good super good so yeah I mean it tastes good it tastes good so I think that's my habit of uh, taking coffee and uh, I think yeah, so today's topic is actually about coffee, right? So it's not about power nap. I, I think I will talk about uh, power nap, uh, this topic in, in the next uh, video, probably. So yeah, um, the I, th I think one interesting thing in Singapore is uh, they actually don't call coffee. Uh, they have like Singaporean coffee. It's like from Malaysia and uh, Singapore. Um, the people there call it cup gobi. Gobi is a... Uh, I believe it's a kind of Hokkien way. Hokkien is a dialect of Chinese, a southern dialect of Chinese, Mandarin. Uh, no, southern dialect of Chinese, and uh, people call coffee kobe. So I believe it's from that, but I didn't really check. So you guys, you guys can fact check that. And um, yeah, they call it kobe. It's kind of Singaporean coffee, and it tastes very different. And w how is it different? Um, in general, like West coffee is like more uh, liquid. And uh, the gobi is more like um, contain larger particles in the coffee. So you, when you drink it, you feel it's not really like like pure liquid. You, you feel a little bit like a, a more solid. Uh, it's like between um, if this this is the solid, this is the solid state. This is the liquid state, and it's uh, definitely closer to liquid, but it's now as closer to. It's not pure liquid, so that's why I learned from Singapore. So, yeah, that's a uh, today's topic about coffee.
so yeah that's all for today and if you like would like to receive more videos like this about like life in the Singapore and uh, life in Canada Canada as an immigrant and don't forget to subscribe and other than that I will see you next time